The mysterious die-off of West Coast sea stars is spreading. The so-called melting sea stars were first noticed in Vancouver, then in Seattle, and now in California. King 5 environmental specialist Gary Chittam has more on the rapidly spreading disease and why scientists are so concerned and a warning the video of the sea stars might be disturbing. Well, fish are kind of scaredy cats. At right the Seattle here. Aquarium, yeah, it's a tube worm. they teach by feel. Is this what you were touching? You're trying to touch? But this week, one species is missing. Took them out as a precaution. Uh, there is a huge unknown as to why there is currently a, a die off happening out in the wild. Few people would want to touch one of these. Sunflower sea stars infected with a strange melting disease, literally coming apart in the hands of biologists. The Seattle Aquarium sunflower sea stars are being held in isolated tanks away from the public. They're in quarantine. So we want to make sure that we can closely monitor them for any signs of disease. Also, we just don't want any diseased animals out where people can touch them. At least three of the aquarium's captive sea stars were melting. Their tanks are filled with Puget Sound water. And the scene out there is worse. Aquarium divers found a much more serious situation in the wild population along the Seattle waterfront. The victims they brought up were in various stages of the disease. The estimates of infected sea stars has grown from 30 percent to 50 or 60 percent in just a few days. And now biologists in California are finding it too. Something is causing sea stars to be diseased um, along the coast at different locations. Whenever this happens, the theory starts swirling around. So they try to find some common threads. And they did find one, us. They are areas that are more heavily populated. Biologists need to find out if big cities like Vancouver, Seattle, and those in the Bay Area are causing it or if they're just the first places to notice it. Is it a natural disease? Is it triggered by environmental factors, city runoff, acidification, or climate change? West Coast Aquariums have sent samples to several labs and are still awaiting results. An important species to the overall ocean health and one of their star attractions is at risk. In Seattle, Gary Chittam, King 5 News. Seattle Aquarium scientists say if they can identify the problem, they may be able to treat sea stars in their exhibits. But there's not much they can do for the sea stars in the wild.